Hello, it's really good to see you here today and I'm really glad you joined me for day 16 of the Melda Fit Christmas Challenge. So day 16, if you haven't done them before or if you've done just a few of them, really, really welcome. If it's your first one, very much welcome. And you can still, again, go up and down through this week and choose all sorts of different exercises. Today, being a Monday, it's going to be Snow Angel Wings. So it's all about my upper half. It's all about keeping my ribcage down and in, my shoulders down, and really using all that movement, pulling back at some points and stabilization as I go up. Okay, so today I've got some weights I'm going to be using uh, for my kneeling one, I'm going to be using a five, and for my longer lever ones as a pair, I'm going to be using a two and a half. So definitely get that work in over that 10, 15, 20 up, and then down on the other side. Okay, so if you've got that, a mat just so you can kneel on it, so it can be quite a small mat, I've just folded it up there, and it's going to kneel on it later to get me the lifts. Okay, if we're ready to go, we will start that warm up. Are we ready? Have a bottle of water ready as well. Four, three, two, one. Okay, just open out that chest. Good, so I'm just walking through the feet. I've got my core pulled in. I've already got my rib cage down and in. Good, I'm going to do that lift. Open up the ankles. Give me that lift. Bring it in the other way, in the other way. And just get that stretch between the shoulder blades. Good, go do a little step touch here, a little step touch. So we'll be using my glutes anyway on here. We do use our thighs. We will be going into lunges. Good. Now bring them back. So it's that little scissor action as I go across. Then my shoulder blades squeeze together at the back. Good. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to do a little circle. And really nice and loose. You've got your core pulled in. It's really nice and loose on the shoulders there and then up and do me runner. I'm over that front leg, I've got my core pulled in, I'm pushing with that knee, driving the elbow back, feeling it in my obliques on that side. Good, let's go to the other side and we're around. Roll it. Core pulled in the whole time, just nice and loose. I'm coming up on the other leg there, drive that elbow back. Well done, I'm coming down, I'm just dropping my shoulder in. Just that elbow in, a little squeeze through the pecs there. Just onto that opposite knee, or near the opposite knee each time. Nice flat back, three, two, one. And just roll those arms. Lovely, good. And then back the other way, just give that a roll. Just from the wrists there, just keeping them nice and flexible. That'll be good. Give me a little peck squeeze. Good. So again, lengthening out between my shoulder blades. Good. Four, three, two, one. And then just give it a shake off. Good work. Well done. Okay. On to my first one. On my first one, I'm going to do those snow angel long arms. So I'm going to pick up a two and a half. Okay, I'm going to put your timer on for you, so you know where you are. Okay, into my lunge. So, leg way behind as I drop down to my lunge, those, either side, and then they come up. Five, I'm putting my shoulder blades down. They just top the top there. And good work, well done. I'm coming down to the floor on my kneel. I'm going to choose an arm, choose opposite leg, and I'm just going to pull it back. our lunge again. So we're up, same leg, because we're now going up one side of the tree. Good, so we really keep that rib cage under control now. Good, that's my 
12, out of 15, down 12, 13, 14, and 15, and well done, lovely, good. We are down onto our knees. Same arm that done that lift for me before. Okay, here we go. Leg out the whole time, my hips facing towards the floor, and 15 pullbacks. Really feel that your belly button's really pulled in here. And you get that pull back. Lovely, good, that squeeze. Make sure that elbow lifts and moves backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. And good work, well done. I'm coming up. Ready for the big one. Okay, one leg back, one leg forward. Okay, are we ready? Dropping down and up. And one. Good, this work is really building, going to be building up in those shoulders. I'm putting my shoulder blades back down and in so my shoulders don't come up near my ears. And my core works because then when I come down, I come right down into the middle. Down here and then up. Okay, lovely, good. I am halfway. Keep it strong. Yeah, here we go. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Do not be tempted to lift the rib case. You get that lift as your arms get tired. Good work. I'm here. And there with the weight. So again, I'm on that same arm to leg. Oh, sorry. Opposite arm to leg. But on the same arm of the pulling back that I've done my 10. And my 15 on. Here's the big one. 20. Yeah, there's 10. 11. 12. Really think about your belly button being pulled into your spine. And that is my 20th one. As I'm here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change over my arm and leg. Good. So my core's pulled in, opposite leg's out. You can flex a little bit to make sure the boot and the hamstring's working for you. My core's pulled in. There is weight on the other hand as well. Okay, so get that lift off. Good. And get that squeeze back. Down into 15s. 
I'll set the leg out, hips towards the floor, zip and hollow on, and off we go. some exercise another two lots to do uh, and if you're going from here well well done and I hope you choose another one to add on to this remember you can choose any of those other shapes and I'll see you again next time okay are we ready to go on our next one I have got this is space here Just happened.